Hey, Mike with Rove Pest Control here. And are you worried about maybe having bed bugs in your home? Well, today's video, I'm gonna cover the top five warning signs for bed bugs in your home, so stay tuned. Now, we all have heard the saying, right? Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Well, it'd be nice if that never happened, but occasionally you might encounter having bed bugs in your home, and so they're hardy pests they're really hard to get rid of, and so the sooner you can get rid of them, the better. And that's why today's video, we're gonna cover five of the top warning signs for bed bugs in your home so you can take action fast before it's too late. So the first warning sign is gonna be itchy bumps and red marks and bite marks on your body. Now, unfortunately, this isn't always uh, an early sign uh, because again, what happens when bed bugs feed, they're gonna actually inject your body with a, an anesthetic and so you're not really gonna feel it. So you'll just continue to sleep while they're feeding on you. And so bed bugs feed on blood and what can happen is depending on the person, you might have kind of a major allergic reaction where you start to see bumps and uh, bite marks right away, but then other people might not see that at all or might just have a very mild version of it. So sometimes this can be hard to detect, but it's one of the definite warning signs of bed bugs in your home is that you're gonna start to see these bite marks, these raised red bumps around your body. You know, sometimes they're in linear patterns as well uh, as the bed bugs kind of travel down the body and feed. So this is one warning sign you might start to see for bed bugs in your home. Now, the next warning sign that you're gonna encounter is gonna be blood stains. Uh, and then this could be a couple of things causing this, right? So again, bed bugs feed on blood. So that could be one reason while they're feeding some of the blood, uh, they don't feed on all of it, right? And so it leaves little dots and red blood stains across your bedding. But then also this could come from these bite marks, these bite wounds uh, that they've left behind. They can tend to be very itchy as well. So you might scratch them uh, and then they start to bleed uh, on your bed as well. Or again, just sleeping throughout the night, rolling around could open open up these bite wounds and again lead to blood stains around your bed. So again, not always 100% caused by bed bugs uh, because again, you might have other sores, you might have other issues going on that could be causing this, but it's another definite warning sign that you may have bed bugs in your home. The third warning sign you wanna look for is feces and then also maybe crushed bed bug stains on the bed. Now again, bed bugs, like I said, they can go for a while for not eating, so it could be weeks, it could be months, but they often will feed continually and as they're numbers grow, uh, there could be constant feeding going on. And so these bed bugs will actually excrete a lot of feces uh, when they feed continually. And so this can lead to a lot of stains as well on your bed. Uh, since they do feed on blood, it's gonna be kind of a reddish brown stain. And typically you're gonna find these around cracks and crevices around the bedding kind of underneath seams, uh, hard to reach places because bed bugs, again, for the most part, they're gonna be nocturnal. So they're gonna be coming out when you're sleeping because that's when you're actually on the bed. So they're gonna be coming out to feed. And then when they're not feeding, they're gonna be hiding as best as possible. So again, they tend to hide on seams, uh, in cracks and crevices, in corners of the bedding, different things like that. Now again, bed bugs aren't just uh, forced to stay in beds. They can find homes on other furniture as well so that you're not just limited to beds, but that's kind of the most common place that you'll find them. So again, you'll find their feces stains around your bedding, on pillows, on sheets, and then also you might find crushed bed bugs as well. Now again, they're pretty hardy creatures, but occasionally you can crush them, uh, rolling around on them as well. So you might see some dead ones and stains of that as well on your bedding. The fourth warning sign you wanna look for is basically eggs, egg shells, and then skin casings around your bed. Now, what happens is bed bugs go through multiple stages of development, and they basically require a blood meal uh, before they can go on that next stage of development. But they also do this about five times through their lifespan. So this can happen quite frequently, especially if you have a lot of bed bugs uh, infesting your home. And so when they do this, they're gonna shed their skin, uh, grow a bit more, and when they leave that skin casing behind, it can look kind of yellowish, and you'll see those around these blood stains, you'll see it around feces, and again, 
mostly located in these cracks and crevices areas, but you can find them kind of all over your bed and all over the area where these bed bugs hang out. So you'll see those skin casings, but then you also might find eggs or egg casings as well. These are a little bit harder to find as most of the eggs are usually around like a millimeter in length. So they're a lot more difficult to find, but you can tend to find them as well if you have a bed bug infestation growing in your home. Uh, the fifth thing you wanna look for might be one of the later stages of warning signs of bed bugs in your home, but it's basically like a funky weird smell uh, coming from the room or coming from the area where these bed bugs are hanging out. So it's been kind of described as like if you left wet sweaty towels out, um, it's kind of like a dirty locker room smell almost where uh, you know initially one or two bed bugs you might not necessarily notice the smell as much but as their numbers increase the more potent this smell is going to become you know bed bugs will release pheromones and that's what kind of causes this smell so if you're starting to develop a, a funky dirty gym old wet towels, old sweaty gym socks kind of smell uh, in your room and you know that it's not coming from your laundry, right? It could be a good uh, indication that you have bed bugs in your home as well. Now again, like I said earlier, bed bugs are extremely hardy pests. They're very difficult to get rid of. You know, they're constantly developing more and more resistance to pesticide type treatments and pest control products. So it usually requires a combination of that uh, you know, at Rove Pest Control, we also use a heat treatment, so we'll raise the temperature in the room to a certain point where bed bugs can't survive. So kind of a, a double duty uh, attack on these bed bugs to get rid of them even better. But a lot of times we find that over-the-counter products or trying to do home remedies or different things like that on your own can be incredibly difficult and very ineffective in many cases. So for this reason, if you're seeing any of these warning signs, again, we recommend reaching out to a pest control service like us at Rove Pest Control to come have your home treated to get rid of these bed bugs because again, they're highly aggressive. They like to scatter and multiply so they can quickly spread. If you're in an apartment complex, from complex to complex, they're great hitchhikers. So they like to move around on clothing, on luggage, as you travel. So there's a lot of uh, negative things that go along with bed bugs that they can spread very quickly. So acting fast if you have these warning signs in your home is highly recommended. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share and be sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest pest control tips and tricks to keep your home pest free. And then also if you do have bed bug issues or other pest issues in your home, feel free to reach out to us at rovepestcontrol.com. And also as a first time customer, you can head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and just fill out your information there. You're gonna get $50 off your first service with us. So as a brand new customer, you can head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that great discount. But once again, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.